Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to install your USB to your MC07. Um, what you need is one of these little auxiliary cables, adapters that you get from um, eBay. It's, for, it's Yamaha specific, I'll attach a few links in the description. Um, and a 12 volt to 5 volt USB converter. And that's just got your positive and negative lines on it. Um, all you need tool wise to install the USB to the MT07 is an Allen key. Um, so, yeah, let's get cracking. Right, first off, you're going to want to take the seat off. Once the seat's off, you want to start taking these fairing bolts off. So, start with that one down there. And there's one. Yeah. Okay, then you want to take the sense piece off. Okay, just gently unclip it. Okay, then you've got three bolts that you want to take off. Then you have one net. And you've got a black one just under there. Now, there's a little push fastener just under there. I don't know if you can see it. So, all you need is a really small iron key. Find the centre and push it. That should free it up. And then, it should drop out. That's what it looks like. Just reset that, like so. Now you have some uh, friction fasteners just over there. So what you want to do is gently pry it off. Start with the back first. Okay, there's that one. The next one. And then you have a clip up here, two clips there. So just be really gentle. You might need a screwdriver in order to pry it off. Okay, now the side's off. What you're looking for is a little white connector, which is in here somewhere. Just have a little fish around for it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. need a little screwdriver in order to unclip the little white aux cable which is down there. So that's what you need, that little white connector. Now find the black and the red cables and make sure you align your new connector with it. Okay, so these little connectors, just make sure you put them in the right place. So I've checked mine out. All you need to do is push them through. No soldering needed. Okay, so that should be in, that's sealed now, the pins are in place, all you need to do is plug it into the bike. Okay, so what you need to do now is just connect it up and you should have a working USB. So, you just clip it in. Hope you guys can see this, I know the light's pretty crap to be honest, but I'm trying my best. Right. Nice and snug. Okay, now, moment of truth. Okay, guys, so I've plugged my 
phone into USB cable and if I turn the ignition on it should charge there you go charging uh, so yeah it's not running from the battery it's running straight from this auxiliary cable um, all you need to do now is thread the USB connector through to wherever you want it um, I personally just leave that connected in uh, with like a blanking plate on it and then this goes in under the seat so if I need to use my USB I'll just connect this up but people would rather prefer it permanently so you can I mean you can strap it onto your frame there's a nice little slot in there that you can put it um, or through, through to your handlebars some people run it through to the back it's completely up to you um, but it works and that's that's how you do it okay guys once it's all installed I'm gonna put it back together so just be careful not to break anything so just line it up with those push fasteners and one over there. make sure it should just clip straight in there you go I never tighten them all up until I've uh, aligned it properly. Just put them in finger tight for now. Get this little push rivet, make sure you don't forget it. I have a few times. You find the hole, which is that. Just put it in and you'll hear a click when you push it. That means it's in. Right, we'll do the top ones. <laughs> 